Hello everyone, my next episode we're going to talk about is Godzilla 1985. One hour and 27 minute action horror released August 23rd, 1985 in the big O USA. Storyline, 30 years after the original Monsters Rampage, a new Godzilla emerges and attacks Japan. Directed by Koji Hajimoto, R.J. Kaiser, and Ishiro Honda. Now here's one for the ages. I never watched this one, believe it or not, from the 80s. I just skipped over it. I don't know why, but I watched it last night. And of course it stars Raymond Burr. He played Stephen Martin. Now if you remember correctly, maybe you didn't because I didn't remember. They made one in 1956. It's called Godzilla King of All Monsters or something. And it has Steve Martin, Raymond Burr, in that movie where 30 years later he's now in the 85 one. It's not listed as a movie for Godzilla, but I watched it. So basically it's him telling his story that he was there 30 years ago when Godzilla first attacked Japan. That being said, this one, obviously, 1985, Godzilla is once again causing havoc in Japan. And it also involves the Russians, Japanese, all over the world. It's global. Will Godzilla attack the United States? Will Godzilla attack Russia? Da 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 da. And the submarines were being destroyed by Godzilla. So, of course, um, the Russians think that it was the Americans. <laughs> you know, because there was no... It's Back then, in 85, when Ronald Reagan was president, it was Russia versus, you know, the United States the day after nuclear bomb TV movie. You get it. So, then they come to realize that it is Godzilla. So now the whole world's wondering, what can we do... To solve the Godzilla issue. Now they also threw in. Um, when Godzilla destroyed. Well the Russian sub. Or the station where it was. The Russian decided to nuke Godzilla. So the nuke was heading to Japan. So the United States came in there. And saved Japan by shooting down the nuclear missile. Has all the politics back then thrown in it as Godzilla movie. Now, a lot of people say this is a bad, bad movie. I don't think so. It's the 80s, it's Godzilla. So Godzilla's causing havoc in Japan. And they managed to kill Godzilla. He was leaning against a building. And, well, something happened that he got re-energized and causing havoc again. It's I don't I can't tell you everything. You got to watch it if you haven't seen it. The ending of this movie, I thought was very unique uh, idea, is they lured Godzilla to an island that has a volcano by using bird sounds because. He has the size of a brain like a bird. So supposedly, he's like part of the bird family too. It's really fucking weird. Godzilla followed this sound of the birds to this island. And they started shooting the the mountains there to knock him in the volcano. So he fell in the volcano. That's how they killed Godzilla. Because obviously you can't kill him with guns, cannons, missiles, anything. So that's what the more of the story here is. Now, again, there's a lot of hate on this film. There's also a lot of people who like it too. But um, yeah, I entered. I liked it. I like Raymond Burr, Perry Mason. I thought he was great in here. And yeah. So that being said, definitely check it out if you're a Godzilla fan. It is probably one of two Godzilla movies from the '80s. There's a movie called another one called it came out in '89. That picks up after this one. So I'll be watching that one as well. And then I'll be venturing into the 60s and the 70s of Godzilla. So that being said, definitely check it out. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film, eh, 
7.5 out of 10. It's watchable. So check it out. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.